Welcome everybody, this is Not Too Old Gamer, starting a new YouTube channel to uh, do some, some game playthroughs or, or let's play series. Um, why am I starting this? My, uh, my kids like it. Uh, some of my friends have told me I'm too old to enjoy computer games. I don't think that's true, so not too old uh, to, uh, to game. But I do like playing things my, uh, my kids enjoy because that way we can play them together. And uh, one of the things they like right now is Farming Simulator. So this is the Norge Home 1. version 1.91 1 map that uh, I'm starting up. So let's play. All right, I have played uh, Farming Sim before, so I do know what I'm supposed to do to get started out. I usually start uh, in a pretty normal way, I think. Uh, Try to get everything going. I like the hire workers. Um, the, I, don't know, I just find that um, the, the larger equipment is kind of fun to drive around, but the basic stuff while you're just getting everything started is kind of tedious. So uh, I don't. I let, uh, let the game do it while I go do something else. Let's get this guy going. Well, it looks like I have a course play saved on this world or on this map somewhere. Let's see what's uh, what's in course play. If you've never used course play, it's pretty cool. I'll, uh, I'll probably do a, a video later on setting up course play. Uh, yeah, so I've got a, an unload combine uh, route set up. I'll uh, I'll do this later. Right now I'm just going to do it manually and get the, uh, the cultivator going over here on field 38. Norchholm is uh, it's pretty neat. It's the standard Bjornholm uh, kind of initial map. For, uh, for most of it, but they did they have added in multi-fruit and uh, pig and cow fattening, uh, chickens. There's a lot of stuff added. I, mean, I, I was going to read through it uh, on the initial screen, but it was in German. Let's get German. Um, so I didn't try to butcher that. I just uh, figured out kind of as we go, but I did read about uh, some of the stuff. So I think that right there, kind of in front of us, is one of the new... Uh, animal areas that's been moved around. So, uh, good times. That one's running. Let's get the uh, the cedar going. Got it started. Got my weight hooked up. Weight's important on this guy. The first time I uh, used the cedar on the tractor, I forgot the weight and uh, had a lot of fun uh, driving around. Not really. It's kind of awkward. My son loved it. Let's refill the cedar real quick and uh, get over here and get field 24 seated. If I uh, remember the old home correctly, it's the field that we have that's ready to seed. Just like uh, the standard map, we start with three fields 29, 24, and uh, 38 in this case. Gonna, I'm going to do wheat, since I haven't really uh, figured out the other crops yet, and uh, we'll do those later on in the series. So this guy's running, he's uh, so you can see, am I catching up on that field? Yeah, it's close enough. It does look like it's a little offset. It's interesting, I've never noticed that before, but... Uh, this looks like he's a little bit offset from the uh, from the left edge of the cedar. So I have to remember that. I don't know if that's a bug or what. It kind of looks like a bug. Oh well. Yeah, that looks like a new uh, new animal area as well. Maybe pigs and cows to fatten. So while that guy's uh, running, let's go check out that area and see what's up. Looks like we've got kind of a little uh, little bridge, a little access road going on here. That's kind of cool. Let's see what's uh, what's going on over here. I'm trying to remember, this was a like a hillside and a uh, little house in the original Bjorn home. Now it looks like we've got. Uh, I'm guessing this is cow fattening, perhaps. Yeah, that's what it looks like. No cows, obviously, although we can't hear them. Um, get those, uh, get those populated a little bit. Looks like we need to add uh, 
some stuff here that's uh, potatoes. Is that sugar beets in there too? I think it's just potatoes. We'll see. And that texture looks kind of like grains of some kind. That looks like a like a grain, small grain silo. And I'm guessing that's water. It's not. Uh, it's not giving me any triggers to show me what it is. Um, it's like the same thing over here where you're feeding, maybe feeding some uh, some potatoes and some grains and some water. That's probably important. Animals like water. And this sounds like pigs. Although, obviously, I don't have any pigs yet. I haven't bought anything. Oh, well. Let's, uh, let's see what's over here. This is uh, manure, I guess, with a uh, with a conveyor. That's nice. I always uh, get a little frustrated loading manure. And a little shed. And then we're looking out over... Uh, looks like the, uh, the dairy and the little uh, town in Bjornholm. So cool. That's nice. The uh, the map doesn't look like that's changed a whole lot, although the sheep area has moved, so I'll be interested to see what's over there. We'll uh, we'll get there eventually. At this point, I just want to build up the, uh, the farm area. Kind of, uh, kind of get it going in this first video. Get, um, get the basics going. Got the straw uh, coming out. So I want to get something to pick that up. trailer is here. Let's go, uh, let's pick up some grain and then go find out where our silos are. I thought I saw them in the same place that they, uh, they were previously, but, uh, we'll find out. Oh, come on. We'll get grain on the next pass. Get out of your way there, cop on. Back out. There we go. Let's just let him get empty and then we'll uh, we're gonna drop the grain off, the wheat off in the uh, in the silo and see what's over in that area. Pretty sure the silo's uh, right over here. There we go. Alright. Let's go check out what's over here. Looks like we've got a, uh, a silage pit. Small. There's our, our warehouse for our uh, sugar beets, our potatoes, and our, uh, and our wood chips. Oh, we've got a wood chip conveyor, it looks like. I'll have to find out what uh, Kartoff and Ruben and uh, Halts Schnitzelar? By texture, I'm guessing that's wood chips. It looks like wood chips. Uh, side boot. I don't know. I'll see if I can find an English translation of this that might work better. We've got, uh, let's see, straw, looks like there. Grass. Yeah, wheat is not accepted here. Silage. That looks like it's in English. What is this stuff? Let's see if I can figure out by texture. I am not sure, honestly. I've got some German words to look up to see what's in here. Looks like these are part of the multi-fruit, perhaps. Might be. We've got two different silos here. Let's, uh, looks like they've got no, uh, boards on them to tell you what's in them. Potassium, caulk, compost. Alright, some German to look up there. And uh, that looks like your standard crops. Let's, uh, let's look real quick. 8793 is wheat. So. 
Wizen is wheat. That makes sense. 8058. Barley. 8707 is canola. Alright, so we've got wheat, barley, canola. You want to buy what about the next one's corn at 8141? And there we are. The others, uh, to figure out what's Carthoff at 8032. Maybe potatoes. I guess they're over there. It's saying X. They're not. They're not in here. So that's potatoes, sugar beets, and uh, wood chips. Maybe there. And then here we've got. Uh, Phosphor, potassium, MPK, caulk, compost, and dunger. All zeros. Well, as we uh, as we add some of those to the warehouses and silos, uh, we can figure out what those are. But uh, for right now, let's go uh, let's go drop our weed off and uh, go find something else real quick. Weed is not accepted here. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I wonder if it's, uh, what if it's accepted at this one? There we go. That one's unloadable. Let's go see what's over here. Oh yeah, we can see it, uh, see it increasing. That's kind of, that's kind of neat. You've got, uh, your board, like maybe that, does that board hook up to this silo? And, then what, I don't know. Lots to uh, lots to figure out in the map. It looks really well done, though. Uh, the guys that, uh, that did this clearly spent a lot of effort on it. Uh, I'm really excited to uh, to check out what what's in it. I also like the uh, the little indicators on the, the ground to show you kind of where the uh, where the load point is. I think that'll be helpful to uh, you know, making sure you get lined up right. Let's go. Oh, looks like the combine's done just about done. It's pretty quick. This is a small field. But, uh, let's, uh, let's go get him uh, fully unloaded. We'll park him somewhere. And, uh, yeah, I managed to get back in my uh, back in my tractor. There we go. Places to park up here. I'll uh, run the combine up here. I've got another weight sitting here and the plow. Okay. So that's, uh, we'll get that moved in a second. Just back him right in here and uh, let him let him hang out right there for me. Here's our, uh, here's our trailer. We'll go uh, go and load him real quick. Now we know where. That's good. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, extend the loan a little bit. I'm playing in normal mode, so I've got a little bit of, uh, of loan left that we can use. I think I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, go get the fertilizer spreader and the, uh, the smaller pickup wagon or forage wagon, so we can get that straw and uh, make a little bit of money with it. I'm going to go do that uh, in just a minute. I don't think we'll need the trailer anymore. Second, and if, uh, if this is like the Bjornholm map, then there's another tractor sitting down at the uh, at the equipment shop. Let's just hang him out right there. We've got our uh, cultivator still working, our cedar still working. Everybody's happy. I've still got seeds in the cedar. It is nice that the uh, the hired workers will you know kind of handle their own seed if it runs out. It'll just I uh, deduct money a little faster, and uh, they'll keep working. But uh, I like to, I like to keep the seeds full if I can. I try to remember that. Sometimes I forget. Oh, good. We do have a uh, a tractor down here. So let's uh, let's find out uh, how much we need. I want to get the uh, the small fertilizer spreader for fourteen thousand six hundred, 
And I also want to get the uh, small loading wagon for 27,000, so 45. If I, uh, if I get the loan up to, uh, if I get my, my balance up to 45, 50, should be sufficient. Make the loan a nice round 150. That'll be great. All right, let's get the fertilizer spreader and the loading wagon. All right. You know, I like how they kind of drop in. I always think that's kind of a fun effect that they uh, they pop out a little above ground and they just sort of drop down. For uh, I wouldn't necessarily. I don't. I usually put the fertilizer spreader on the back, but for uh, just for transporting it up to the farm, uh, probably okay to mount, to mount it on the front. I've tried fertilizing like that, it just looks strange to me. I don't, know. don't normally do that. But, like I said, this is just for transporting it. I suppose I could just reset it to the farm. Uh, I might do that later, but for right now, I'm kind of enjoying just sort of driving around looking at the map. But, uh, we're going to go through here too fast. Oh, got some stoplights going on. That's fun. Okay, this is going to change colors. I wonder, what, wonder what happens if you run the light. That could be interesting. Wonder if they, I wonder if they implement that or uh, or something. We'll find out. I'm sure I'll. Uh, I'm sure I'll get in a hurry sometime and just uh, blow through one and see uh, see what happens. Right now, let's uh, let's head up the hill and uh, get back to the farm. Added some street lights to this uh, to this little road. That'll be nice at night. Uh, I always uh, tend to, to still be working when it's. It's nighttime in game, so uh, it'll be uh, it'll be nice to have a little bit of light around. Fertilizer spreader. I'm gonna drop it off near the fertilizer uh, near the fertilizer tank. And, uh, kind of get uh, get going. While I've got some money, I'll go ahead and uh, fill it up. How long that thing takes to fill? Um, I've got two weights there. I usually put weights on the front of uh, front of all the tractors, kind of as a default. Uh, let's, uh, let's pop him off right there. Pick up a weight. Probably don't really need it for this guy, but uh, you know, habit. I don't know what this is. That's, a, that's an odd, interesting little texture. I'm not sure that's where the seed pallets uh, used to be, but uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. It's a uh, seed master, so I'm guessing you can uh, dump grain in there and maybe get seeds out of it. Interesting to see. I do need to move that weight and plow at some point, but uh, for right now let's go, uh, let's go get the straw off this field and uh, see, uh, see what's going on. Pick up, turn on the forge wagon, and here we go. And well, that Porsche play is still, uh, still there. I thought I deleted that. I did delete that. And I've still got the little, the little indicators. Hmm. Oh well. Knowing how impatient I get with some of the uh, the tasks, sometimes it's like uh, you know, things are fun right up until the point they can become tedious, and then I'm then I'm trying to build a course to uh, 
to let the computer do it for me. So we'll probably do an episode of horse play uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, for right now, just cruising. Let's get this. I know I'm skipping rows. It's because of the turning radius of the tractor. Just trying to. Uh, you know, pick up all the resources you can. I suppose I could just plow that back into the field, but uh, I can make some money off of it, so uh, might as well pick up. I think I missed that little bit a second time. It really bugs me to have the, the straw hanging off the edge of the field so, so it doesn't get cultivated back in. It's just sort of hanging out there. That always bugs me. leave a little bit of wheat behind, but uh, it's okay, it's okay. Well, it looks like the cedar is going to be done in just a second here. Cedar to uh, to go over to field 38 in a minute. Just want to finish filling up the straw trailer. I don't think we're going to quite get the whole field in, uh, in one load. We'll get most of it. hundred percent. We didn't quite get it all in. Now we'll go figure out where to put him in a second. Let's get this, uh, this guy's almost done. So let's, uh, let's see, we need some more seeds. So let's go, uh, let's go fill him up. And then, uh, then we'll take him over to 38 and, uh, get some stuff planted. We're just going to stay with wheat for the first uh, for the first round. It's simple, but it uh, has a decent yield. The uh, prices are not the greatest, but uh, I think it kind of makes makes up for it in the yield. I might do the math at some point to uh, to figure the most profitable crop in this particular map in case it's been modified, but I did see a, uh, a breakdown on kind of the standard uh, yields and prices that wheat was the most profitable of the, uh, the three or the four uh, grain crops. Or not, it's a grain crop or not. But it was uh, wheat was the most profitable, barley was second, canola was third, and corn you only did because you, you know, just wanted to, or for silage, or for, for a chaffing harvester, or for silage. Uh, I think sugar beets were the, the most profitable, but uh, they obviously require a uh, little more money to uh, to get started. I'll do those later. I like sugar beets. Uh, I like potatoes because they've got that, that neat field texture, but. Uh, they also take a lot of money to get into. I'll probably do that later. Not in this episode. This episode uh, is probably just going to go through the initial startup tasks and uh, 
and then be done. Alright. Let's get you going. I also like that you uh, you don't have to perfectly align the, the tractor on the field. The hard work will, will uh, you know, make a straight uh, straight road kind of on its own. That's uh, that's nice. He's gonna go and uh, go and do his thing. Let's see. This guy still working. Still working. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's go and load the straw. Um. Let's uh. Let's start by making sure our uh, straw cell point is still in the same place. I think it is. I mean, that, that looks like it over there. But, uh, we'll go be sure. It's a chicken area. At least the eggs. It's not, uh, it's not on the map quite, but it, it looks looks like the same thing. So I'll assume that's, uh, that's still where you get eggs. place to, to store straw over there. Let's, uh, let's put the rest of that in, in there and uh, let's see how that works. I imagine that's useful later on when you're mixing feed. I'm going to stock up a bit. something else. They usually end up buying a mower pretty early because uh, mowing gives you something to do. You can, uh, do some missions, make a little money there. Usually do some missions early in the game and then, uh, then as, as things get going you kind of uh, don't do them as much anymore. If I remember right, the straw one was all the way on the end. Yep, there it is. And there we go. Our straw is filling up. Now, does it show straw in the uh, in the overview here? Oh, well, there's a lot of stuff in here. We've got. Uh, Lime and fuel, seeds, compost, potassium for the phosphor, NPK fertilizer, oats, rye, sunflower, beet pulp, pigs, beef, fat and chickens, and silage. Wow, lots to uh, lots to explore and figure out. All right, so that's empty. Let's go. Uh, let's go park this guy and uh, pick up the fertilizer spreader. And, uh, Get that field, uh, get that field fertilized. Pretty wide uh, spreading range. I used to always use the sprayer um, when I started for uh, for a couple reasons. I liked how you could kind of see where it was going, but uh, and kind of how how wide it would be. But um, I don't know. I got irritated with how easily it caught on things and how 
and it would it would just keep spraying and spray out the whole load on uh, on the grass beside a tree that it got stuck on. And we didn't quite catch the whole thing there. Let's. Uh, I know it's not that much, but I get picky. Right, let's try that again. That's better. It looks like I did miss a, uh, a little bit of that with the cedar. So I'll do better next time. Alright, my cultivator's done. So uh, let's get him over and uh, start him on that, uh, on that first small field. He's dirty on Probably need a pressure washer at some point too. Back and wait. I'm just driving all over the grass. Notice board there. That looks like a, an area for chickens. I guess the fattened chickens they were I'm talking about. Curiosity. Okay, we've got a door open script. Interesting. Yeah, you can hear chickens, although I don't have any yet. Alright. Another silage pit. That looks like a mirror, perhaps. Maybe that's a wool pallet collector? Maybe this is maybe a sheep area? That's what it kind of looks like. And that would make this cows, because there's your manure, your slurry. That's kind of nice. I like that. i figure out how to feed them. Them. There you got a, a series of troughs in there. The, uh, the sheep. You got troughs from the building. There's a milk collection. Maybe I wonder if you have to do the milk manually. We'll find out. And a bit here. What is this? I don't know if it's decoration or... Okay, mixing plant. Oh, cool. So you... Need looks like you maybe fill up with uh, the components of mixed ration and it makes it for you. So maybe you don't need the uh, the feed wagon. Hmm. Something else to figure out. Good stuff. I like this map. I always liked uh, Bjornholm. I, I like the uh, small fields and kind of the the windy little roads that go different places you have to figure out, but uh, with, with more stuff to, uh, to explore and learn about, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Somebody, they clearly did a lot of, a lot of work on, uh, on this Norgeholm map, uh, the version 1.91 is the, uh, the most recent one when I, uh, when I downloaded it to start this, so, uh, so that's what we're using. Going. The cedar is uh, happily churning along. The fertilizer. What did he do? How did he end up over here? Okay, so a note to self don't leave the fertilizer guy unattended on this field. Um, he went ahead and fertilized those fields. Well, this one is fertilized too, so that's good, but, uh, hmm. Interesting. Oh well. Let's go, uh, we'll park him over at 38 since that's where we're going to need him next. And then, uh, what we'll do next. I'll wait for those, uh, the cultivator and the cedar to, uh, or the cedar to get done so that we can go and do the next one, but, uh, 
figured out. I'll go move that. Uh, I'll go move that plow to where I want uh, for him to be stored. Can hang out right there until he's uh, till he's needed. Let's drop that off. And, uh, we'll use this guy to go move the plow. I don't uh, don't think he's quite strong enough to actually use the plow, but uh, he should be able to move it no problem. And, uh, I can't remember will the plow pull him down. Let's find out. That could be fun. Totally missed. There we go. And then he's staying on the ground. Oh well. Probably, uh, probably wouldn't if I, uh, if I started doing anything too crazy with him. So let's get our get our weight going. Oh, well, we've got a fuel tank up here. So that's what that is. Yep, we've got a refueling option. So that's nice. I don't have to, don't have to take the tractors anywhere to, uh, to fuel them up. And, uh, let's see. I'll just park this guy in, uh, in one of the sheds here. I like these pull-through sheds. Um, that is, uh, that's nice. Right, take that and, uh, not sure what I'll do with this guy next. I'll just, uh, let him park there. I've still got one weight kind of hanging out there. Um, leave him in a minute, maybe. Cultivator's still running. Cedar's still running. And fertilizer guy's waiting. So, um, that's a reasonable place to attend this. I'm going to let these guys keep going, but I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and end the episode. Thanks for, uh, for watching. Uh, kind of getting the farm started. Not a whole lot interesting here, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun to, uh, to figure this map out. And, uh, see you next time.